God that wields the dark Milner returns to descend upon his throne of thought to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to 10 million subscribers, 1.2 million subscribers strong. Now, this question comes to me from my Facebook fan page. This young lady has written a message. She seems distraught. I only saw a couple of things and was like I could tell something's wrong. So let's see what she has to say. Hey Tyrone, my name is Amanda and I would love your advice on some things I've went through in my life. This will be long, so please bear with me. That's what he said. <laughs> I was like, can't say that's what she said, because, like, you know, it was a good girl to have that long. But a dude could say that to a chick. So, that's what, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love your advice in a YouTube video. If that's not too much trouble for you. Sorry, I'm crying. Typing this tears. Typing this tears are hitting my keyboard. Thinking back on the past. It all started when I was 14 years old. I am now 25. Uh, I think I might know where this is going. Let me see. I'm now 25. Sorry, y'all. All this stuff still hurts me to this day. So, like I was saying, I was 14 years old. I lived with a stepdad who was a drunk. And no... And one night he was drunk and he came into my room and sexually assaulted me that night. He was a 300-pound man. <sighs> and at that time I was 1,400 pounds. He passed away years ago and I'm still so pissed and angry at him. He lied to my mom and said nothing ever happened when he knows exactly what he did to me. That night I know since he passed away, I should let the anger go. But I just can't. How do I do that? How do I get past it? And two years ago, a friend of my brother's did the same thing to me while I was past and had a seizure. I have a history of seizures. How could someone be that low to, to that, to a girl half your size? Well, first of all, First of all, um, you need to uh, speak to someone about it. I'm not even halfway done this, but first of all, you need to speak to someone about it. You need to talk to your mom. You need to talk to your family members. You need to talk to people you trust about this, okay? Um, to hell with that son of a bitch. Fuck him that did that to you. You know what I mean? There's a lot of piece of shit step parents out there. They end up hurting children that aren't theirs. All right, fuck him. All right, um, and I don't know what you mean by it. Should the anger should be gone after he passed away? Why? Why? I don't understand that. If the anger's still there, it's still there for a reason. You know what I mean? What he did to you is not like it's like oh, that was nothing. That's the past. No, our past can haunt us. Things we do in our past can either be good or it can be bad. Things done to us can be good or bad, and they can haunt us. So, the first thing, if you've, if you've been a long-time subscriber, you should already know this. There's a method called EFT. And EFT, it's called Emotional Freedom Transfer, is a form of acupressure. I use it myself. Like, it's part of my life. That's how powerful it is. And uh, I suggest you look it up. There are PDFs on it, PDF manuals. Download one, EFT PDF. Just look it up. Your bunch will come up. Download one, read it cover to cover, and apply it. Because it's been powerful enough to help guys with PTSD that even medicine and um, therapists couldn't help. But I suggest you talk to someone. You also get therapy for it. And you turn in the son of a bitch. Uh, that your brother's friend that, that did that to you. Tell your brother about it. And tell the cops about it. 
It's just stupid when women don't tell what happened to them, man. So, halfway through, um, how could someone be so low? They could do that to a girl half your size. It was not rape that these two men half your size was, wait. History of Caesars. How could someone be that low to that, to a girl half your size? It was not rape that though, that these men I trusted did to me, but that touched me down there without my consent. Is that considered sexual assault? Yeah. Yeah. So they didn't rape you, but they, um, they, uh, they molested you. And it probably is sexual assault. I have to look up the uh, definition. Sexual assault definition. Let's see. The definition of sexual assault isn't always clear. Let me see something. When they couldn't just give me they couldn't just give me the definition really I'm going through like generally sexual assault is defined as unwanted sexual contact the rape abuse and incest national network defines sexual assault alright so let me see here Sexual assault is an act in which a person sexually touches another person without that person's consent or coerces or physically forces a person to engage in a sexual act against their will. It is a form of sexual violence that includes rape, forced vaginal or oral penetration, or drug-facilitated sexual assault. Groping, which is what happened to you, sexual or child sexual abuse, or torture. Of a person in a sexual manner. So you, yes, were sexually assaulted. <sighs> Is this my fault? Well, you know it's not your fault. Okay? You were a 14-year-old girl. And some 300-pound man came in and touched you. Um, you were passed out. You were sleeping or whatever. Um, he said... Um, same thing while I was passed out and had a seizure. That's nuts. Did he do it? He touched you after you passed out from a seizure? That's some sick shit. If that's what happened. But one thing I would do if I was you, I would make sure that anything that makes you pass out, you know, drink. like some girls would get drunk around guys, a bunch of guys. Like stupid drunk, you pass out, you don't know what the fuck those sons of bitches are gonna do to you. I got a friend who got gang raped by ten football players. They put something in her drink. She woke up the next day hurt and welts all over her and everything. You know? And it's one of those things where some people are going to say it's her fault for drinking around all those dudes. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, those sons of bitches shouldn't have fucking touched her. They should have been responsible men and not touched a woman without her consent. You get what I'm saying? But you want to make sure that you're not putting yourself in a situation that could really turn bad. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, okay, so a person doesn't want to get hurt or shot or something. Like, if you got friends, like for me, example. You got friends that are in a neighborhood that's drug ridden and ridden with violence. You might not want to go to that town to visit them all the time. You might want to have them come visit you. You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean, the danger, it, it, you know, you, you're keeping yourself out of danger. But when you go to the danger, it, it heightens the, 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 you know, the percentage of you getting hurt. Anyway, let's keep doing this here. Never want to put yourself in a situation where you could be hurt. What do I do to make, what did I do to make them come after me? Nothing. Just being a woman. A woman 
and you were helpless and you were smaller than them and they thought they could take advantage of you. If you could help me, it would be so grateful when you do the YouTube video. Could you please say the message came from Anonymous? All right, well, I already said your name, so but I didn't say your last name, so no one knows who you are. Y'all should tell me that shit in the beginning. Always remember that. I could really use your advice. I can't get past this, and it still haunts me to this day. I used to cut myself. I became seriously ill and became bulimic, all because of what these men I trusted did to me. That chick, too, she cut herself, and she's bulimic, too. I can't stop thinking, what did I do wrong? Thank you for taking the time to read my story. I'm also a really big fan of yours. I've been sub to your channel for two years. I'm so sorry if I misspelled some words crying. Typing this is not easy. Thank you again. Yeah, so I've pretty much told you everything you need to get done. Okay, tell your brother about the dude that touched you and turned him into the cops. Um... If I were you, I would never be, if you have seizures and you pass out, I would never be without your friends in situations like that. So what I'm trying to figure out is why you were alone with your brother's friend and where was your brother? You see what I'm saying? Where was he at? I understand what type of situation you were in where, you know, and how'd you know he touched you if you passed out? Did he tell you? Did someone else tell you? Did You know what I mean? But n make sure you're never... In okay, so if you've got female friends, okay, if you go to a party, you stay with them. You're always with them. Unless there's a guy you're interested in, don't go off anywhere. By yourself with him. Okay? If you're in a room by yourself drinking and you're feeling a little... And it's all guys... And all the girls might be in another room or in a kitchen. You might want to move to the room where the girls are. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you want to be a responsible adult. Don't, don't go out getting, you know, shit-faced like that. It's okay to have a couple of drinks, but don't be going out just to drink. A lot of people I know, they drink to drink. And they just keep drinking. You know what I mean? Like, don't get drunk. Get a little buzzed. You always want to be responsible. You always want to protect yourself. You know what I mean? I had a girlfriend that uh, we would meet up at this one place, and this one place, there's a parking, there's this parking in the back that was dark as hell. Like, you could get raped, killed, anything in this one section. And I remember I was walking into her car, and I was like, what the fuck did you park in the rape section for? She started laughing, she was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you see this? It was wooded and everything. You see what I'm saying? So she's parking in an area where most likely something won't happen to her but as a man i'm looking like as protective because i know that there are savages out there that stalk women you could drag her into a woods rape her leave her there you don't know what's gonna happen so protect yourself buy yourself a little taser buy yourself pepper spray i've heard pepper spray works really well because sometimes tasers won't uh you know, uh, drop a guy all the time, but have a taser. Have your mace with you. you know what I mean, pepper spray mace. Have it with you. Have it in your hand when you're walking to your car. You know, just seeing it. I saw this in a video. Someone was talking about. It. Just seeing it will deter a guy. So if you turn around, like, look, chill. That makes them want to walk away. You know what I mean? Have a man walk you to your car. Have a man that you trust always with you. you always be thinking about you, 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 you're living defensively. Not in a stay away from me. I don't want to have friends. I don't want to have male attention. Not that, but I mean, your, 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 your thinking is always protection and defense. You know what I mean? Because you're a chick. You've been taken advantage of twice. Luckily, you weren't raped. That'd probably be way more traumatic than some guys touching you and groping you. I'm sure that's bad enough. But um, consider yourself fortunate. Like, I'm always half, hey, glass half full, okay? So I'm always thinking, well, 
It could have been much worse. You could have been raped. You could have been killed. You could have been penetrated. These men apparently groped you. Consider yourself fortunate that worse didn't happen. It is not excusable, and I'm not saying it's good that what happened to you did happen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it always could have been worse. All right. The other dude met his demise already. You let your mom know the truth and tell your brother what his friend did to you and go to the cops if you have to. Okay. Um, EFT, learn it, master it, make it a part of your life. Tell your friends, tell your family, and speak to a therapist that can help you. Okay. That's all I got. Magnus Sites, if I missed anything, post your comments down below, let me know. And I hope I have helped you. 10 million subscribers. Whoa. You may now subscribe.